To start off, what you'll need is a pencil, eraser, and a marker. And you're gonna use your marker and write your artist signature on the bottom left corner as small and neat as you can. Now you're gonna start tracing your heart. So you're gonna pick a heart, put it in the middle. You're gonna stand up and hold it nice and still. Reach around your hand, all the way around, to as far as you can. Then you're gonna tickle the edge of the tracer with your pencil. Nice and slow, make sure you don't move the heart, and then you can make it all the way to where you started. Now you're gonna take your black marker and carefully trace over the top of that pencil line. Then grab your eraser and gently erase any pencil lines that you might see. Now you're gonna go ahead and pick a color. Go through and pick your color that you'd like and you're only going to be coloring on the edges of the heart. So there's the tip, and then the side of the marker. You wanna to try to use the side. You're gonna go back and forth. See how I'm going back and forth and going over it a couple of times? It's putting lots of marker there because this marker is gonna to turn to paint soon. I'm gonna turn my paper to make it easier as I go. Notice how I'm only coloring on the edges of my heart, and then we'll see what the magic does. If you do not go over it a couple times, when you add the water, it's not gonna wake up as much. So you wanna make sure you go over it a few times. Now it's time to add your face. So you can look at the idea sheet if you'd like, or you can make up your own. Go ahead and draw some eyes. Make sure you can tell that they're eyes. Then go ahead and pick a mouth or create your own mouth. Now it's time for you to add the water. So you're carefully just going to take your water and do little circles touching the color that you did. It's gonna wake up that paint. It might take a little bit of time to wake up for some markers, but see how mine woke up right away? And it turns it into a water color with a dark edge and a light middle. Now the last thing you're gonna do is use the bingo dabbers to dot in the background, making little circles, trying to get all around your entire background. You can use more than one color if you'd like, just make sure you put the correct lid on the correct dabber.